Okay, so the entire code has been written. First code is basically it's opening the file. Hello guys, this is Ali Solanki and today we'll be talking about GitHub Copilot as well as ChatGPT. We'll be writing some basic codes with both of these things and I'll be showing you how to install GitHub Copilot on your Visual Studio code. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and let's see the entire process on my laptop now. All right, so let's start with how to use GitHub Copilot on your Visual Studio code. Now, if you haven't installed VS Code already, then just search it up on Google. First link would be VS Studio Code's download link, right? So just download it from there. It's available on Windows, Mac, even on Linux machines. So yeah, just go over there and download it. Once you have downloaded it, it would look something like this. Of course, you won't have these files already made. So I'll be showing the entire process. Don't worry about that. If you haven't used OpenAI's Codex yet or don't know what it is, I've made an entire video just dedicated to OpenAI's Codex. So go check it out as well. I've made an entire website using it. So yeah, that's one of the videos that you should check out. Now, the second thing that you need to do is install GitHub Copilot, right? So you need to get GitHub Copilot's access first of all. So how do you do that? Go over to github.com features and copilot. So over here, you need to apply to get GitHub Copilot for yourself. So just click on get copilot and then you'll be there in the waiting list. Once you are verified after that, you'll get an access code, which you can then use in Visual Studio code as well. So I've already gotten that. So after clicking on get copilot, you can see that I've already gotten the GitHub Copilot version right now. So the next thing that you need to do is go over to Visual Studio code. And over here, we need to integrate your GitHub Copilot with the Visual Studio Code machine as well. So just go over to extensions tab and over here, search for GitHub Copilot, right? So you can see this is the one with more than 3 million downloads right now. And once you install it, you can then see the entire usage. So over here, there would be getting started guide, right? So just read that if you're not understanding how to install it. And uh, once you're done with that, let's start with writing codes using GitHub Copilot. So here is something basic that I'd be doing. I have a text file with me, my text file .txt, And over here I've written some text, right? Is the secret code that I want to find, but I want to find it using my Python code. Now, how do I do that? Of course, the basic uh, roadmap for any developer out there would be just search it up on Stack Overflow, search for the codes and try to figure out a way for that. But over here, we'd be using GitHub Copilot for that. So how do we do that? First, make a comment. So say, for example, you want to get text from my text file. And right now you can see that it's auto completing the entire thing. So GitHub Copilot is already working over here. You can see accept, then you can even open GitHub Copilot and all of those things. So I've written the text now, of course, I just don't want to get the text, but also print it out. So and print it. It already understood what I was trying to say. So yes, the next thing that we need to do is open the file, right? So open the file my file it's it's all writing by itself by the way i'm not doing anything read the file let's see after that print the file so it has written the entire code for me i've not done anything let's see if it works so i'll just go over to my terminal go to python 3 and read text file dot python and there it is, you know, the entire code is over here. It has read the entire file. It has printed it as well in my terminal. So that is what you can do with uh, GitHub Copilot. It actually understands everything. And uh, if you have a really big project, you have multiple files, it will go through all of your files, learn about how you write code. And depending on that, it will suggest you further codes along your coding journey. So apart from that, if there are some secret files, right? So for example, this is a text file, which I don't want GitHub Copilot to read, then you can even disable it from here. So over here, you'd see this is the extension for GitHub Copilot. 
and you can then disable globally or disable for specifically for Python files, right? So you can even do that if you have some secret codes or some secret things that are written in your files, then you can even disable it. Now, the second thing that I want to show is do the exact same thing, but on chat GPT. I'll just show it to you. Let's see. So write a Python code that will fetch text from a text file named my text file dot txt and we need to print it right so we'll just and print it in the terminal okay let's see what it does so it has written open the file in read mode read the contents print the contents of the file and it has given the codes for it as well. Okay, so the entire code has been written. The first code is basically, it's opening the file in read mode, uh, read the contents and then print the contents, right? That's the basic thing that was suggested to us by GitHub Copilot as well. Open the file, read the file and print the file. But ChatGPT just went a step further. It has actually written the entire explanation for the codes that it has given out and the next code that it has written was for a for loop. So it's using a for loop to iterate over the file object. So over here you can see it's opening the file, right? That's done over here as well. And then it's going over each of those lines in the file in order to print it. So yeah, as you can see, you can actually get the same output with different kinds of codes as well, with different uh, logic. And that's what it has done for us. So you can go check these things out. Go check out chat GPT from the link will be down in the description box below, but it is chat.openai.com slash chat. It's free to use right now. And uh, even GitHub Copilot, you can go check it out. If you want to know more about chat GPT and what it can be used for, then go check out my video over here. It'll be down there. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.